how vast and how big the ocean is. It's been about a year since I've seen it, but even though it's been a year, it's still so impressive that Jesus made all of this and man cannot replicate it. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, so I'm on my way back from the beach and I figured since I'm by myself, I might as well do a video because I actually had a thought and it's a pretty important thought. Um, and I know that this is gonna be controversial, believe me, to a lot of people. And I am willing to go there. I am absolutely willing to go there. Now, I just wanna tell you guys just a little bit about my background, just a little bit. I was a preacher's daughter. I was pretty much born into it, pretty much, you know, because my daddy was preaching when I was three years old and we went to church, you know, every single time the doors was open. So being a preacher's daughter, I've got to see what goes on behind the scenes at a church. I've got to see the inner workings of a church, you know, how people talk and react in churches and how things are supposed to go. I know about how bylaws are basically supposed to be and all of that. So I know all the rules, you know, I just didn't go to school for it, but I know all the rules. And, uh, you know, since I became saved, I really am super confused, super confused. Actually today, we were leaving from the hotel room that we were staying at in Virginia Beach. And uh, they had this church that was in the lobby of the hotel. But as we walked out, there was a sign and it said, come to Salt Church. It gave the website saltchurch.org. And so I decided to go to the website. I forget exactly what it said, but basically it just goes along the lines as something that all these people are trying to do today. You know, um, just as long as they say the name of Jesus and if they call themselves church, apparently they're a church you know they talk about the love of god the love of jesus the love of this man named jesus but you can go in the door and they'll tell you all the things he can do for you and all the wonderful stuff that he has to offer but nobody's telling you who he is and i'm having a hard time finding out who this man named jesus christ is now i know who jesus christ is but i'm trying to find somebody in the world who can legitimately not in a cliche way or just kind of brush over it i'm really looking for somebody who can tell me who jesus christ really is and so because there was that church there this morning it made me think of a memory you know when I, whenever i was small and me and my parents would go on vacation, my sister and everything. We would have church service in our hotel room because they usually didn't offer, you know, church when we would go on vacation. So we would always on Sundays or on Wednesdays, if we were on vacation, my daddy, he would open his Bible and he would tell us some about, you know, a verse here and there and he'd preach to us and a little bit. And that way we got the word of God because it's important to get the word of God. It really is. If you don't go to church and you call yourself a Christian, you need to be opening your Bible studying at something because you can't be a Christian and not want to learn about the man that you're in a relationship with. <laughs> But I have to say that the Salt Church this morning comes off to me as a Jehovah's Witness. Now, mostly as a Christian, I can tell you that there is a verse in the Bible that says that we are not to wish them God speak. Now, it did not just refer to a Jehovah's Witness. This actually refers to anyone who comes preaching another gospel. And guess what else he says? Which is not another gospel. That's right, guys. That is right. They're going to say the name of Jesus, and they're going to try to make you believe that this is the Jesus Christ that you believe that you serve, and it is not. It's not. They are going to tell you the love of somebody, but it is not going to be the Jesus Christ of the Bible. It's going to be a Jesus Christ of the world, but somehow that must be a good thing that they're doing, right? I mean, at least they're trying to, you know, let the people who are tourists go to church know. No, absolutely not. No, it's not sweet. It's not cute. We don't need to wish them Godspeed. They're preaching another gospel. And no, no, no. It does not just apply to Jehovah's Witnesses. But when we're talking about how it is not another gospel, his name is Jesus Christ. And he is universal. He is, I actually saw someone that had said this week that they were all about family and God and all of this other stuff. It was their mantra. 
that was what they lived by. Google mantra, that's just a Buddhist, you know, Muslim type thing. It's with meditation. Look guys, there is no such thing as religion. And I know that people are confused in this world so much, but I am telling you there is a way that seemeth right that is not right. And this is not the right way. Just because you go on vacation and there is a church and you've guilted yourself to death because you have the option of going, you know, if you don't, you know, God's going to hold you accountable. Let me tell you what, God's going to hold you accountable if you go because they are preaching a different gospel and it is not the same gospel as the gospel in the Bible and it's not cute, it's not sweet and we don't need to wish these people Godspeed. I really do hope to do more about these churches. I'm being led by God and I'm just doing what God wants me to do. So basically, that just because what seemeth right doesn't mean that it's altogether right. And this is so wrong. So just because it calls itself church doesn't make it so. And this is why we have to test the spirits. Now, I'm going to say this because this is really important. I am not better than nobody else. I just chose a different path. I don't care what lipstick you put on. I don't care what brand of makeup you wear. I don't care how expensive your clothes are. I don't care how much money you've got. I don't care if you're a Rosh child. There is only so much lipstick that you can put on a pig because either you were born privileged or you were born poor, but when it all comes down to it at the end of the day, we stand in front of God ever bit the same. And like I said, if he didn't have a respecters of person when it come to his mother, he is not going to have a respecters of person just because somebody is more wealthier than the other person. I'm no better than anybody else. I just chose a different path. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be humble. I'm going to come off as humble that, you know, I call myself the humble bumble. So I really hope that I can come off as humble because I want to be as non-biased as I can. I'm not going to walk into the church and I'm not going to just start screaming at people. No, I know it says in the Bible that if you ask it, God is supposed to do it. And if you're a Christian, God doesn't work like a genie. It also says that if you ask a miss, he ain't going to give it to you. There's too many people that are making vision boards and asking a miss today and these things are not gonna happen guys they're not gonna happen but all right anyhow I've talked enough I think I'm gonna get out there and try and drive I don't even know where I am I just wanted to let everybody know that I love them and I'm not telling you this because I think that I'm better than you I'm not trying to be up here on a pedestal I'm no better than anybody else I just want to let you know I'm doing it out of love I'm doing it out of love. I was actually reading a book on the beach earlier this week. I, I read where Paul said that he just had to get the gospel out, period. When you're a Christian, that's just what you've got to do. And, you know, I know that I'm a female. And I know technically, because I've been raised in the church, I know the rules. I know that a woman's supposed to keep her mouth shut and she's not supposed to say anything. But, guys, there's a story in the Bible about how people were um, reveling and talking about how could Jesus perform miracles and do the things that he does on the Sabbath day. You know, it's the Sabbath day. And in the, the you know, Ten Commandments says that you're not supposed to do that. They live by the law of Moses. And, well, Jesus says, well, if there is a uh, lamb in the ditch... I'm not just going to leave it there to let it die. I'm actually going to get it out, even if it's on the Sabbath day. Guys, I'm a female. I'm not trying to step over a man. If I had a man in my life that was a good man of God, I would be having him do the channel, not me. <laughs> I'm a female. I don't even want to talk. I'm, not, I'm You know what? I, I text. I, I don't like to talk on the phone. I'm a texter. I'm a texter. I really don't. So for me to do videos, this is a very big deal. But I am literally trying to be like Jesus and I am saying that even if it's the Sabbath day I'm still going to pull the sheep out of the ditch and there ain't nobody in my area telling you not to go to the church at the hotel because they preach another gospel it says in the Bible that even the very elect will be deceived 
Remember, which is not another gospel. And that just does not apply to Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay, fine. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go because I got to drive. But I sure hope that somebody grows for God today. I really, really do because I'm telling you, I'm in this car by myself and it's super nice. I, I can't figure out how to work the GPS and the music, so I'm without. And I'm just sitting here praising the Lord and getting happy because... Jesus is just so good to me. So I just hope that this helps somebody else. I just want to tell each and every one of you that I love you and that I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day.